What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon, I'm your comic book noob. Welcome to the Noob Rebirth. Today, it is the next step in noobism. Uh, I'm gonna be opening up, a, or not opening up, I'm gonna have a stall at a comic fair. So I thought, what better way than to learn about selling comics than from my barista and comic book mentor, Mark from Big City Comics. Say hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna be setting up a table <laughs> at the Yarraville Comic and Toy Fair, which is coming up. I thought that was funny, you're not gonna lie. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to what you were doing. Sorry. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be setting up a stall and selling some stuff for the first time. What? So we're gonna, Are you serious? I'm, I'm, oh my god! Oh, oh, he doing he it. sold something on eBay and he's got, he's got the, he's got the uh, what do you call it? The bug. All that stuff I bought off <laughs> here over the years, I'm selling for four times the price. What? what? <laughs> Let's do this. What advice would you have for a first time seller? No, no. So, hang on. I would give you the advice of pricing stuff that you're happy with. But you know, you have to put it reasonable. That's all, that's all I say. Yeah, it's not, yeah, well, look I'm it up and do some research, oh, absolutely. I get that sort of vibe through eBay sometimes. I, I, I see what the average price is and then I, then I round it to the, what I'm happy. Yeah, so well, with eBay prices, you've got to remember, people mark up the eBay prices because of the fees they have to pay too. Correct, correct, correct. I'm not selling keys and things like that. I'm just, <clears throat> I've put together a lot of sets. So like obviously, there's a lot of stuff which I just feel like I'll never get around to reading. So I've just bundled them together. That's a good idea. That's uh, a, a, well, I wonder who taught you how to do that. Uh, no, no, no. So, not at all. Mark does that really well. So when, when Mark is at comic and toy fairs, he actually has box, um, short boxes full of sets where he's like packs that he puts together. He, he has it all through the shop as well. That's something I've always liked because when I first started collecting comic books, I didn't want to have to go find issue one here, two here, three there, yes. four there. I wanted to just buy the whole set from someone. Yeah, so, so mainly, mainly lock like mini series. Yes, yes. The problem, I guess, with that sometimes for me anyway as well is, I would want to buy the set, but it might be a 12 issue set, and I don't have 100 plus dollars to fork out for it there and then, and then I, uh, I sometimes would miss out. Mm. But um, the sets to me, I feel like there's a market for that, for people who want to just come, on, come in, people who are completists, people who are new to collecting, mm. just want to buy that. Um, the other stuff I'm c c uh, selling is, I've gone through my books and a lot of them are just variants, some of them are doubles, some of them are just things like I don't need this anymore, and then some of them is just, man, get this out of my life, all right? So I'm gonna have a bunch of stuff which is just like, literally like a $2 box. Some of the just random issues I have, I'm like, why did I buy this even? Five bucks, get rid of it. As long as you're happy, whatever yeah. you're happy. And obviously on the day when people will come up, if they're gonna buy a few things, I'm gonna look after them because I've always had that from when yeah. I buy from sellers at these events. So obviously you come on, you buy a few things, I'll be like, just give me this and I'm good. Yeah, and also like, if you're gonna go out there and your sole purpose is to clear out some of your, your storage at home or you know, and you want to make a little bit of money on top, and that's and that's fine. That, that is two good reasons. Well, you know, I kind of look at my comic room now, and it kind of gives me anxiety because there's so much shit in there. But I kind of look at it like it's kind of just money sitting there too, mm -hmm. in a way. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely stuff that I'll never sell because it has, you know, like sentimental value to me or something that I really enjoyed. Because obviously, I've only had a short time in this comic book world, uh, and I'm still a noob. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> you guys probably know if you've been watching me for a long time, I'll buy the first issue and I'll buy every variant. And then issue two comes out, I'll buy every variant. But the third issue, if I've bought every variant, I'm fucking in for the long haul and I'm gonna buy the entire thing with every variant. So I've got like complete sets, which I haven't even read yet, but I've got three, four sets of them because I've bought every variant yeah, for some yeah, reason. Which is obviously, you know, uh, big, the big one for Mike Warrock and Berserker. Yes, so right. no one's bought the Keanu Reeves. But I could have a set in there. I just recently put a set together that I had running around with that. I bought that pen and ink. I made two sets, but I kept the other two for. But here's the kicker for my set of Berserker. Issue one will include the little ticket that you can claim something's killing the children. So if I just put, I was going to put it on eBay like that. Like, remember when something's killing the children was hot? Anything that had something's killing the children related. Was still expensive. Is hard, still is nah, it's died off. When the show comes out, hopefully uh, it will go back up here. Yeah, it's true. But that was my little thing. Oh, I've still got the collector's card for which a lot of shops 
did not give to their customers. A lot of shops took that redemption card out of the book. Not a big city comics. <laughs> I bought four of those books, I think, four, four copies. No, actually I ordered eight, but I didn't ask for eight. I said, you said I could have eight. And I said, you know what, I'll be fair, let me have four. So half. Mm. But um, I was gonna sell it with that card in there. Think about yeah, why later. not? You know, everyone reads different, right, collects different. <clears throat> So, you know, um, you, you on the other hand, you collected more for the, you know, you had to, to read and cover box. So never to resell, it was never in your No, 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 no. But the, you know what the funny thing about that is, man? If you go back to my early, early days of when I started this channel, I had no idea why people would buy a variant. I always wanted the cover A. I would never buy the cover A and a variant, because I was like, what? why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you buy multiple copies of the same book? What are you stupid? Next thing you know, I'm like, Mark, I'll have four. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I started collecting multiples was because I always thought if someone I knew wanted it, I had one for you. And I wasn't, I would just, here, have it. I mean, there's so many times when my friends are like, I love that cover. Hey, I got you, man. I got four of them. <laughs> you, can have, you can have one. Before you had the shop, did you, did you sell books? No, not at all. Really? Really. Because, Remember, didn't even enter my mind. Remember when I first came into the scene, I was really against flippers and things. And then I learned that it's actually kind of part of the culture in a sense. A lot of people will sell their books. I there's definitely you, it's part of the newer culture. The, well, it's well, not the, part there's of the definitely a difference culture. between a flipper flipper and a guy who just sells some of his books. Like a flipper is the guy who's going to clean up your shelf and you know literally buys them just to resell. While I feel like the collecting, like people who are real collectors, will often. Have, it's, it's a bit different game. I it think. is. Sometimes your your hobby can finance itself. Remember how many times you say that to you? Yeah. Sell some stuff. I say to you, pound it into your head. You know, you know where when you were saying I'm spending too much on comics, I've got to cut down. Me, the shopping got the comic book shop, shop owner, is uh, secretly going, damn. You know, Ooh. but the human side of me gave you some really advice. You don't need every issue, you don't need every cover. Right, that's one thing. And also, you should, if you're gonna buy variant covers, sell them so then you can finance what you really love. You know, the, the comics that you really wanna buy and, and afford. The, the statues, the action figures, whatever. So, you know, that's a, a good way to do that. Your, your hobby finances itself. So that was one of the biggest advices I gave you early on. And, and uh, I'm glad that you, it's, it's just, you know, pushed yourself up. I, I kept on telling you, you should, Sell something on eBay. Sell, sell, sell on eBay. Go to eBay. eBay is good because it gets you Australia wide. It's 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 protected. It's 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 got some sort. It's got a, a good level of protection from scammers and stuff like that. I've only got a few books on eBay at the moment. I was thinking about taking them off and just doing this from time to time. Like yeah, and that's a, and that's a great idea. Absolutely. And yeah, but it's always good to have a little bit of eBay because a little bit of eBay always uh, gets you out there, and and a little bit of eBay. Um, you know, you, you, if you interact with someone in Victoria, you say, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm at a show, come and see me, you know? So it's, it's always good to, to have a little bit of that contact, you know, outside the shows. I, uh, I did notice over the years, as time went on, I started to see some of your books yeah, from your collection in the glass cabinets and stuff. Well, how did that? Well, when I first opened, I went through my whole collection. I had three piles, keep, maybe, sell. At the end of the day, like I dropped a lot of stuff that I would have loved to have keep, kept, but <laughs> when, I, or when I was a kid, or when I was younger, early on um, in my collecting, and uh, I said, you know what, Mark? This is why uh, I bought this stuff, to be honest. You know, it's time. I have a comic book store, I should sell this stuff. So I did, I sold a lot of my Jim Lee signed yeah. Hush Ark. That's the one, I, that was the one I, when I saw them, I was like, wait, isn't that yours? And you're like, yeah. Yeah, so I've only got one left, two left. I sold my X-Men number one, was drawn by Jim Lee as well, uh, all signed, the, the connecting covers with certificates. I sold those to a, you know, to a, a, a good friend of mine, um, shout out to Jay-Z. Um, oh, you're and, friends with Jay-Z? Yeah, and he took, and I, 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 I know he'll take care of him. 99 problems, but X-Men 181. <laughs> uh, just to finish what I was saying, I sold all my, you know, the death of, of Robin, Sold all those, that arc. Didn't you get some of those back? Yeah, I did, and then later on, uh, I was, it, it played on my mind that I sold them and I ended up buying them again. <laughs> that's but, you know, yeah. had to have something in my cabinet when I first opened, something to your lure. Yeah, that's true too, right? And they were good lures. In my recent 
Comic and Toy Fair, I talked about Days of Future Pop Culture. That's right, yeah. Which Sean, Sean puts on, right? And a lot of people of us came to, I mean, I already knew you. I met Sean through you, and then I met a lot of people in the community yeah, through yeah. that event. But at that event, you were there selling. I was. That was my first one as Big City. Company. And you don't do it very often, but is that something you're obviously looking to do more in the future? Oh, yeah, I am, I am, yeah. yeah. Uh, I just don't, uh, this is my priority. I can't, I can't close the shop and then go to a fair, you know, so I'd rather keep the shop open. I'm, I'm happy doing that. My shop is my priority. This is what I pay my rent on. Um, but you know, in the future, yeah. I, and, I, and I can't wait. I can't wait to do that. And what type of stuff? What's your... Because I know at a lot of the times when I have seen you at fairs, you're a little bit different. You like to bring the trades. Yeah, so it was a bit more... It was more you like to bring the sets? Yeah, it was a bit more of a mixture. The second one I did with Sean, I, I joined forces with Sean. I, 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 I joined with his, with, his, uh, with, with his store and Sean take, took care of my my store. That was the second one. The first one, yeah, I, was, I used it more of a promo. You know, I, I took a little bit of everything of what my shop can, uh, has to offer. You know, uh, trades, I had, I had a cabinet full of uh, um, special edition stuff, you know, signed stuff. I had uh, some statues, I had some back issues as well. And, and, and it was good. It was good to let people know I was in the western suburbs, I'm here for you, that sort of thing. Yeah, I think, because um, I've been obviously, I've been thinking about this for a while, and this was my first opportunity because I obviously I know Billy, and again, Billy's another guy I met through you. And Good old Billy. Yeah, Billy's like a legend. Uh, loves to sniff the old books, Billy. New York. From New York. <laughs> um, loves sniffing other books. Yeah, he loves sniffing books. Ooh. Yeah, so I kind of jumped at the chance because obviously I felt comfortable approaching Billy. Yeah, he's, saying, pretty, he's pretty nice. Hey man, do you have a table? It wasn't a big deal if he didn't, uh, but he, he's hooked me up, so... Um, Good, I'm glad that it's successful for him. I'm glad that he's been, because every time he comes into the shop in the past, he was, oh, I, gotta, I might start my own, I want to start my own. Finding venues, um, you know, I've got to start my own. Yeah, he had a lot of stuff going on in his private life. Uh, with family and stuff, so you know, he, obviously life gets in the way and you get me get to put soft puts up, but you know, finally, he's, uh, and then COVID hit for fuck's sake. Oops, sorry for the swearing, but you know, and then yeah, so good on him. I'm, 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 I'm really happy for him. All right, so maybe before we wrap it up, uh, is there any words of wisdom you'd like to give to your favorite pupil? My, my paddle one, <laughs> hashtag yeah, Star Wars guy, yeah, just be yourself, mate, just be you. You know, like you always are. Do I put the salesman cap on and like... <laughs> if I have to suggest what you do, <laughs> it's salesman wise, <laughs> is do what you always wanted to do and not be restricted by the big corporation that you work for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all, just be yourself, mate. You know, and, and, every, and, and everyone, uh, will, everyone who watches your videos will see you selling, they go, oh, look, it's Simple Simon. Well, they'd be ready to sign, you know. Make sure you've got cards. Make sure you take some business cards. <laughs> oh, when they buy a comic, they say, do, you want, do you want me to kind of sign the comic? Sign the card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Just be yourself. That's my advice. Thank you, Master. You're very welcome. <laughs> and that is all we have for you today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, there's Mark. Hi, Mark. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's you. Uh, let us know in the comments, have you guys ever sold comic books? Is there something you've ever thought of? Uh, and yeah, don't forget to leave a hashtag hi Mark in the comments. And until next time, say bye Mark. Bye Mark. And keep it simple. 99 problems, but X-Men 181. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what makes you not right? <laughs> um, what? Anyway.